I'm gonna show you how you can improve your putting and hold more putts using the Spider GT Max. Around 90% of your start line is dictated by the putter face angle at impact. And all you're gonna to need to practice this, no equipment, you're just gonna need two golf balls. We're gonna use these two balls to create a gate and that gate needs to be just wider than a golf ball. So we've got one there and I'm gonna place these golf balls either side of it. Now you can play around with how wide or how narrow this gate is and that will depend a little bit on your ability level and where you are with your putting. This one for me is a perfect place to start. Once set up, I want to be coming around about two to three feet back from my gate placing a ball on the green and then very simply my job is to see if I can stand here and roll my ball through the gate without making contact. Now it should look a little bit like this. Through the gate that tells me my start line was correct. Now at this stage I'm not actually putting to a hole. I want to take the hole out of the equation, don't want to be focused on that. I want to be solely focused on the task at hand which is can I start the ball through that gate. Now it's actually quite difficult, difficult, more difficult than you might imagine. So you're looking for tendencies here. Are you someone who tends to hit the ball on the right, leaving the face open? Or are you someone who tends to hit the ball on the left and leaving the face closed? If there are any tendencies, then there are some things that we can do to help you improve that element of your putting. The first thing you can do is use some alignment aids on the golf ball. Now on this particular ball, I've got two things helping me. I'm using the TP5 Picks ball with the visuals there. And I've also got a red line through the TP5X logo. When I place that on the green, I want to get that aligned right through the center of the gate. We've also got technology on the Tour Response Stripe, very visible alignment aid, really gonna benefit you if you struggle to hit your start line. The next thing that can really help you with your face angle impact is the technology that's within the putter head. On this GT Max, I have got the black alignment aid, but I've also got the true path alignment here, that white section of the putter that along with the TP5 picks or the tour response stripe makes it incredibly easy for me to align the putter to the line that I'm trying to hit. You can have alignment aids on the golf ball, you can have technology in the putter head, but it can still be incredibly difficult to start the ball online if you have excessive movement through the stroke with your lower body or potentially your head as you hit putts. So I'd love you to set up and I'd love you to start with a little bit more weight into your lead side, only about 55 or 60%, and then really feel as if the lower body, that's my knees, my hips, are locked in place. And the only thing that's moving is my shoulders, my arms, and the putter. If you can stay a lot more stable, it's gonna be much easier for you to return the putter exactly where you set it at address. All of those things can help but it can still be incredibly difficult to hit your start lines if your putter isn't matched to your stroke. Different styles of stroke require different styles or types of putter. This GT Max Spider Putter is adjustable. There's weights in the sole, and with the wrench, you can adjust those weights to change the way the putter works. You can match it to your stroke. Now, at the moment, I've got the weights in the number three position closer to the face. That's gonna be great for anybody who tends to leave the face open. If you're hitting that golf ball on the right, this setting is going to help. The back setting is gonna give you more stability and help you if you're hitting the ball on the left. And we've also got the middle setting as well. So if you can dial in your stroke using those drills and dial the putter into your stroke style, you're gonna be hitting the ball online more often and holding more putts. Then. All you've got to do is put it all into practice, take it to the golf course, start your ball online, and hold more putts.